and I'm going to look at that measurement, and it's about three inches. I'm going to measure at another location and see if that measurement changes. Again, it's about three inches. Now I'm going to measure at another spot where I think there might be oil or one of our deposits. I'm going to look at that, so it's about one inch. Hey, it's Jenny Law with K95.5 here with Austin from Simrex Energy. Today we're talking STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. What is it that you do? I'm a geophysicist. I, like you said, I work at Simrex Energy. My basic goal is to find underground resources. So I use my knowledge of the earth, knowledge of physics, and computer science to figure out where the oil is, basically. Now, it, you, you told me earlier it's a myth. See, I was told that oil comes from dinosaurs and you squashed everything that I learned. So <laughs> oil does not come from dinosaurs? No, so oil actually comes from a variety of different things, but primarily algae and plants are what constitute most of our oil. And so what actually happens is you'll have like a marsh, if you've ever been to Louisiana, you know, you have a large marshland and that mud, if you pick it up, you've seen it, it's like that really black mud. Mm -hmm. That's basically what ends up becoming oil later on. You have algae, you have dead plants, you have some dead animals. That gets compressed over millions and millions of years and ultimately turns into you know, what goes in our cars. Now, how long does this take? Like if you're out on a, on a dig or dirt, whatever y'all do, how, how long does it take? To, it, it takes about somewhere between a week to two weeks to drill for oil and um, it, it, there's a lot of uh, elements that go into this process. So you have to drill for it. You have to figure out where the oil is first. Mm -hmm. And then um, when you're actually drilling, we drill down about 15,000 feet. So that's close to somewhere between two to three miles um, before we actually hit the oil. And so in Oklahoma, you know, right under your feet, pretty much regardless of where you are in Oklahoma, there is oil somewhere. It's just how far down do you actually have to go to get it? That's the real question. And that's the question that I try and answer, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm at work. How did so. you get interested in this? Um, I got interested in this through school. So I've always, you know, I've liked geology, but I was mainly focused on computer science. And I think the main draw for me is that it's a very, um, it's a very technical, uh, sort of all-encompassing science. You use a lot of different things, including um, computers, geology, physics, math, anything that you can use to solve the problem, you're going to use it. And so I don't like to limit myself as far as, you know, what math I can use or what technology I can use. You can use anything to try and tackle this problem of understanding the earth and how it works. Now you brought a couple of boxes here. What, what do these symbolize? So what I have in front of me here is a box and it has beans covering most of it. And I want you to think of this as a, a model of the earth. Um, and so the, the top of this would be the surface of the earth. And what I've actually put under here are a variety of shapes buried within the beans. And I want you to think of these as uh, natural resource deposits that we're gonna try and extract or drill for. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our ruler, we're gonna put the zero down, and we're going to sample at different points and measure what the height is from the bottom of the box to the top of the beans. And what we're looking for is a place where that measurement is lower than the other measurements. So for example, I'm gonna measure right in the middle of the box, and I'm gonna look at that measurement, and it's about three inches. I'm gonna measure at another location and see if that measurement changes. Again, it's about three inches. Now I'm going to measure at another spot where I think there might be oil or one of our deposits. And we'll look at that. So it's about one inch. So what we can see here is that there's a difference right here compared to the rest of the box. Now um, I want you to relate or I want you to think of this again as a natural resource deposit that we've identified through drilling wells through the earth. So once you hit something, what's the next step? All right. So now that we think we've identified a natural resource deposit, um, the first step for this is to drill for it, to see if we can extract it from the ground and use it as a natural resource. But on top of that, what you'll notice is that there are multiple deposits in here. This is very common where you see one oil deposit, you're gonna see multiple. And so the end goal would be to go and find all of the other deposits as well and make sure that we're properly extracting all of the resource we can from that area. This has been awesome. Austin from Simrex Energy, thank you so much for coming in. Stick around for more STEM videos.